choose to be happy, a conscious choice. I have spoken on rosary, its nature, and anger, its nature, and how to understand it. These are the conditions that happen to each one of us. We are born innocent. We have the potentiality to grow, to blossom into a beautiful flower. But what happens? We remain miserable. Because we understand, we consider misery as normal, anger as normal. How to change this in our life? We have to choose a meditation technique that is simple, not based on any religious belief, instead based on practicality. And that is possible for each one of us to bring together. Remember I had given you an example yesterday. And this is why chemistry becomes very important in understanding. Meditation is an alchemical process. It is a process of changing your energy level. If there is an energy scale, one to ten, energy continues to fluctuate according to circumstance and situation. We have to make a conscious choice. It is like I have given you the example, two molecules of hydrogen when interacts with one molecule of oxygen. The balance of oxygen is two. Then we get crystal clear, life-giving, flowing water. If somehow this is a normal situation when two molecules of hydrogen and one molecule of oxygen interacts with one another, it becomes water. If somehow the other, this structure is changed and we add one more molecule of oxygen to it, the Final result becomes volatile, vicious, although it has its utility. And then it is known as H2O2 hydrogen peroxide. Men are and women. I use the word man and woman. They are like two elements. First of all, they have to be in their natural form. Natural form means I heard Mullah Nasruddin's wife had passed away. For some time he remained without a woman unmarried. Then he started feeling lonely. And so lonely that one day he decided that he was going to get married. He got married and he realized just after the marriage his loneliness has not reduced, instead it has multiplied. He was very surprised so he went to a Sufi. He asked, told him that his wife had passed away. Whether wife passes away or is still there, I am talking about, let us put it as a spouse, because I am speaking of Ulla Nasruddin as a male character, so I have to bring in a female for you. So the master said, unless you understand loneliness, whether you have association or not, you will remain miserable. Two lonely people, two miserable people, two angry people do not cancel out their anger, misery or loneliness. Instead, in their association, the misery, the loneliness, the 
anger multiplies and it becomes manifold. First of all, you have to understand that you are bodily male because your bodily structure is that of a male but you are not male somewhere deep in your unconscious there is the counterpart the female Master Lapalusu in the secret of the golden flower says that there are two things anima and animus male and female elements Hindu God of Trinity Shiva is shown as in the images half man half woman these are symbols through the symbol it is shown that these are the two aspects of our life male and female according to according to Shiva that aspect where one side of him is shown as a male and the other as a female is known as Arg means half, Nari female, Ishwar means image of God, Arg Nari Shwara, half male, half female. It is symbolic. You are born with the interaction of ovum and sperm. Ovum comes from female and the sperm comes from a male. With the interaction of these two, depending on the number of chromosomes, a body is formed. So half of you is male and half of you is female. You may be physically have the symptoms of being a male or female, but psychologically or emotionally you are a male or a female. There are certain males who emotionally are of feminine nature. The feminine nature is dominant. Apparently, outwardly male, but emotionally or psychologically the feminine element is dominant and vice versa. These two elements, male and female, anima and animus, have to have been in such a position that they neutralize one another. You remember when you put the bulb in the socket, there are two currents goes into it, a positive current and a negative current. Negative current is generated by grounding it. Positive current comes from outside. And when these two neutralize one another, only then there is illumination. Is this Buddhist or it is, is it Christian or not? This is a basic scientific fact. A similar thing happens in our life. These two aspects, positive and negative, have to neutralize one another. This is the middle part. You make something a dish. You leave it outside. Once it is left out, uh, exposed, if the temperature goes above a certain limit, the traits of its decay begins. Where does those worm or things like that emerge from? At a certain temperature, you make chickpeas, you make chicken, you make anything and leave it at a certain temperature. It will, those germs, contamination will born from within. Nobody is adding to that. When you are making yogurt, you put the milk, you put the culture, 
at a certain temperature the enzymes grow within that growth is within and this is why it is mentioned when you take the frozen items it has to be kept at a certain temperature for instance the frozen things have to be kept at 5 degree fahrenheit which is minus 15 degree celsius otherwise mold and things like that begin to grow into it what does it translate into human life the trees of negative energy are within you how do you maintain your temperature that is by bringing an understanding in case of food items you keep it in a temperature but minus 15 degrees celsius that is why in all the cold storage the temperature remains below minus 50 degrees celsius in order to extend the life of that product you cannot keep human beings into that because human being is a living person now in order to maintain that temperature of minus 15 degrees celsius so that no foreign element continues to grow you have to bring understanding into it that understanding is meditation understanding is light is awareness once that comes in your temperature is capable of not allowing any foreign element to filter into your consciousness and when you reach to that level on the scale of 1 to 10 ever find then you can neutralize everything the process of meditation and peace we increase that level and once you neutralize one another or you have learned the art of that you are self sufficient your in medical terminology it is called the immune system is very strong no foreign virus or infection can affect you we have to increase our immunity emotional immunity intellectual immunity and that can come through understanding we have to understand that we are actors many years ago i had done a composition called wheel of time the wheel of time to swiftly moves goes on mocking as it goes no power can its fury end or change its passage it has been going and shall go forever without a break the world my friend is fine stage on which we come to act our part the world my friend is fine stage on which we come to act our part then to the most of what you mean cause frigid claws of death may soon descend and seal your humble fate cause frigid claws of death may soon descend and seal your humble fate then you shan't have time to mend you shan't have time to mend each moment is precious as it comes how do you accept that moment whatever is happening in that moment is a measure of your versatility on the stage of life the person who is your spouse in this life today may not be your spouse tomorrow so one moment that is given to you like a, you are an actor both the spouses male and female they are actors they are given a role to perform they are given a scene and if they perform the scene very well that scene sells the movie and because of that scene 
people go to that movie and its rating changes and not only the rating of the movie changes but the rating of the actor and actress also changes they know that this is not reality yet they still they enact the scene so beautifully that it seems real and sometimes even the audience consider this so real that it affects them emotion the person who is your spouse today maybe tomorrow your role is over she becomes the spouse of your friend your relationship has changed for this the understanding has to come how or what kind of understanding is required to offset the breeding elements of anger misery unhappiness and all these things a sufi mystic shakuntala devi who happened to be my grandmother he that was her blessing to anyone according to indian tradition whenever you meet the master you bow down to him you touch the feet according to islamic tradition you bow down holding the hands which is called the safa in english tradition we shake hands so whenever anyone used to touch her feet normally we say god bless you as if when i hear anybody saying god bless you it seems to me very fake appears as if that you are acting on behalf of god and you are his custodian and you can bless on behalf of god you cannot bless anybody on your own behalf or you are blessing god on to on behalf of something and someone that you have never known never explored she never said things like these things that she used to say of course she used the hindi script which is translated in english as be always happy be always happy that was her blessing to anyone who will bow down So I translated it. Be always happy. Now, as a meditation, I change the word "be" to "choose." Choose to be. Choose always. Choose to happy is a very essential and finite existence that overflows, and that is the essence of Nashvan Sufi Shakuntala. each moment in life presents different situations circumstances and conditions certain are acceptable to human understanding while others are not in all circumstances you choose to be unhappy how the food is in front of you nice platter that can give you energy i don't want this food i want it the spaghetti what you have brought into you and have you have missed the opportunity that energy that food that was in front of you could have given you we never accept whatever is happening in the moment no that's all right but if it was so that would have been better and we consider it normal no this is not accepting what it is in the very moment is meditation is a spiritual is the way of the seekers we do not know why this is happening because our understanding 
our vision is limited we cannot see the whole image the entire picture of it which we may understand many years after on a day to day basis we get these kind of moments comes in our life the boy who works with me in deliveries and transport he is associated with me for the past 20 years so i choose him to do all my work we had a type of a brand of basmati rice the green was a little smaller so i offered one of the customers almost at cost price but he gave me a counter offer of a price which was 30 dollars less than our price it was being at the loss so we decided to let it go because instead of it remaining there we gave him the offer and gave the price to the person at a loss two days after he called me he said that price is not good the rice was away it's not good i told him do not tell me that rice is not good or bad because i know the rice is not wet only green is a little smaller if you do not like it is okay i can change it give you another one so we decided to take it back so the boy said we gave them at a loss now we have to go and bring it back so there should be a cost of restoring the item i said no we cannot do it. without any crumble without anything we bring back the item is 50 500 pounds of rice now there are other customers who are buying that rice at our regular price whereas i gave it to him at a loss of 30 dollars a bag now here i am selling it at a regular price if at the moment when person complained about the rice and decided to return it to me if i had made a fuss i have i would have been in the dark moments at that time not accepting what is happening accepted it the broader picture i told him as a boy i said it is good he wants to return it he is a good customer he wants to return 500 pounds of rice that is no problem and then he keep it slowly and slowly we will sell it the very next moment two customers call and they started taking the rice so we gave them the same rice and week after week we are giving them the same rice at a regular price no complaint from these two customers this is the broader picture in our narrowness in our non acceptance we miss the broader image what destiny has in store for us what god has in store for us you trust him he will never fail you but we don't trust any moment a problem comes in we lose our trust that is why it is very delicate it happened i could have been grumbling the same way like anyone else not accepting it but the person is to return but accepted it the person said whatever is the credit let it be and when when we taking the things in future that credit will apply to that and we continue to sell our rice and a regular price without any problem this is the reason this is the outcome of total acceptance of what was happening at that moment 
that particular incident could have caused anger, could have caused darkness, could have caused unhappiness, but no, immediately I changed the entire thing into a blissful moment. After that, the person came and he bought something else. I said, you want me to uh, deduct this money out of that credit? He said, no. Let that remain separately and I will pay for these goods that I am taking now. And when rice comes in, we will pay. Begin to trust the moment. Moment may be precise, but it is reminiscent of the divine of Allah. God or whosoever you can. Allah is not a name of a person sitting from the earth. It is the understanding at that moment is the approach of acceptance of a particular event or circumstance and situation that is happening. It never depends you. When you are driving along a road to reach to a place and you miss your traffic light or anything, what do you do? You go to the next traffic light and take a U-turn and come back. That is normal. So this is the way in all circumstances and situations you choose to be unhappy. And to human understanding this is normal. Why to a meditator which is normal? In all circumstances, you choose to be unhappy. This is not your essential nature. And slowly and slowly, this becomes your musculature, your personality, your... You become an angry man or a miserable man. An entire life centers on this unhappiness immediate forms. Be aware of this situation. How he can arise. Be aware of this situation. How he can arise. Therefore, oh friend, this is your right to choose to be happy. I teach you to be happy under all circumstances, to be in total acceptance. Be it sorrow or pain or anything else, choose to be happy, life will begin to move in a new dimension. Urdu poet Mirza Ghalib's one composition is Mushkile it me ki har mushkil asan ho. So many obstacles came in my life that obstacles created their own way. When you are walking along the road, you see stones blocking your way. What are you going to do? You can grumble that my way is blocked. How can I go? You can walk over these stones to cross over to the other side. That the stone becomes your way. You will find it difficult to understand everything. I am here to bring an energy field that will help you to make this beginning. And once you have consciously decided for this journey, it will become easier. How long you are going to continue this saga of misery and unhappiness? Now is the time. To be happy is your choice and right. To be happy is a conscious choice only you can make, but in all circumstances you choose to be unhappy. Remember a happy heart is the door to the beyond, or door to the inner, or door to the being. You tend to be happy or unhappy because of the other or the circumstance. No one chooses to be happy for no reason. A happy heart is filled with gratitude to wish to him. To be happy is the greatest blessing. It unfolds a totally new and unknown realm. When a master says something, the seeker needs 
the seeker needs to introspect on those things. The master cannot be wrong or unconscious. The very fact that he or she is a master implies now something has changed within. A master may look like you, but in reality he differs in his understanding of the cosmic phenomenon and awareness. None of his actions are guided by unconscious. Even when he moves his hands, he is totally aware of it. Let this be your meditation. Each moment, a new meaning will unfold in life. Serenity and blessedness will engulf you. Only then it can be said you are living in the image of the Master. Then something of the Master, his awareness, his understanding, will be part of your blessing. In the beginning it will be difficult to choose to be happy in all the circumstances or situations. You can create your own meditation a way that appeals to you. You may decide that every hour of the day when the clock stops, the hour 10 o'clock, 11, 12, at that moment whatever circumstance or situation comes, you will accept. Or you can say every day, five moments, just as Muslims offer prayers at five times, you can choose five or seven, any number. I will accept those moments. So in the morning, three o'clock, whatever happens, I will accept it. Seven o'clock, I will accept it. You can create your own pattern. And when you begin to fall in that pattern, you find that you have chosen to remember it three times for the day, or five times, or seven times, or every hour of the day. When you begin to fall in that pattern, and you in the beginning it may happen that you decide that every hour of the day you will accept whatsoever happens, you may forget. And just after that it happened that you realize that I had forgotten it, I was supposed to accept it. That too is fine. Then it will happen, you are completely falling into that pattern. Just a few minutes before that hour comes, immediately a caution comes in that I have to accept this, whatever is happening in this moment. Then you can spread it more closely, then it will happen once it becomes a way of your life. Every moment when a circumstance and situation comes, there is a total acceptance. And imagine the situation of a person who is in the total acceptance. There was a Zen master. He and his disciple, the master was old and his disciple. They used to be traveling eight months for the year and when it was a rainy season they will settle and they return to their home and stay. But their roof was shattered, leaking. So it happened that when they returned to their hometown, they went to the same house. The, it was rainy, cold with the night. The raindrops were drizzling. The old man sat down in prayers. Nidhi raised his hand and thanked God. The young disciple got astonished and complained. He said, Master, you are thanking for what? We have been wet, we have been hungry, we have no roof over our head, and you are thanking God. He said, Prayer is an approach of thankfulness. Whatever comes to us, comes through the Divine. When that Divine understanding or what we call Allah interacts through our organs of action and perception, the energy that works through your mind, the mind mechanism through your intelligence, 
then understanding comes and when understanding descends to your organs of action and perception then actions come that's the process my thankfulness is for whatsoever he gives he knows what is needed for me at this moment and that is the meaning of prayer total acceptance total happiness choosing to be happy in every moment and that is the panacea of all that happens in our life every moment choose to be happy and in that very acceptance you will find the ways and means will start coming up if there is a fire in the house you are stumbling in darkness from here to there you are not finding the ways and means to come out because there is a fire in every circumstance and situation if you maintain your awareness which is hard in the beginning but then but it is not difficult then the way opens in that particular circumstance that i showed you the case of rice there was no dark moment why because it was total acceptance if he returns it maybe it is not for him for someone else and he delivered it to the wrong person and that a new opening comes and with that new opening that initial loss that was there of fifty dollars each bag means fifteen hundred dollars total loss that was changed into a profitability again because of that acceptance i can go on narrating countless such events that happen moment to moment in my life and if you start counting the benefits in your own life you will be filled with gratitude you can never forget that how when you were it can't the totality or what we call god or allah or whatever it is is the existence is full of perfection it never betrays any it goes on nourishing and nurturing us the master said can't you see that we have the air to breathe in we do not have life within but we have the the thunder and lightning that is bringing the light within the room there is a satiation within us and that is the meaning of truth